welcome to the NBS Reviews. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Silver Quill. I have beheld the face of madness, and it is miraculous. <laughs> oh, it's the time again, ain't it? Why do you do this, Norman? Why do you torment my psyche? Because... Because you got cheese-eating cats and stocky people and guys in in tight leather appearing on girls' rooftops to be like, hey, come with me. Okay, let me just call the police! Police! <laughs> uh, well, mm, let's see, um, people enjoy it? You sick! You sick! Hey, I, I even told Calpain about it and he seems interested. Oh, la di da I don't see Calpain here. <laughs> well, Calpain is busy trying to get his thing sorted out, so yeah, I would invite him, but yeah, he, he's, you know, busy, so yeah. I'm busy too, I'm busy too, and yet uh, here I am. <laughs> but anywho, in today's episode, we are going to review Season 2, Episode 9 of Miraculous Ladybug, episode entitled Glaciator. In this episode, Marinette meets Alia and friends for a treat at Andre's, a legendary Persian ice cream maker, but Andre is akumatized into the villain Glaciator. So, oh, first impressions are in order. Silver, what do you think? Well, actually, I think I'm getting used to the madness. As this one <laughs> seemed a bit more even keel. Oh, wow. Namely because there's no tying people up and trying to force a kiss. Or there's still Cat Noir be like, hey, I'm on your rooftop. Let's talk. What? <laughs> but we got to see some nice heartfelt moments with the characters. And surprisingly childish but also somewhat dark uh, villain. Which I thought, wow, that's something else. And of course, the message of believe in love, which sounded a bit more believable than the last episode with the school teacher who really doesn't doesn't know Sleeping Beauty all that well. Yes, I'm still hung up about that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that one. The last review we did. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, there's a lot of other good episodes that came out recently, but I checked Netflix US and they're not out yet. I would have loved to do a review of um, the quote-unquote zombie episode, but it's not out for US Netflix yet, so yeah, we have to wait for a bit. Yeah. I'm trying to imagine how Miraculous would tackle the idea of zombies. Oh, it's fun. Trust me, it's fun. Too bad that it's not out yet. Okay. <laughs> you you say that, but instantly I think, you think it's fun, so I must be terrified. Um, Not really. Um. Let's just say that they they did a safe way, um, a kid friendly way of introducing zombies in a kid's show. Oh, great! So it was like, what's the zombie safe word? Raids. Okay then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anywho, uh, is that yeah. possible? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's just I don't. I can't say I understand the characters better, <laughs> but they seem well. They seem like good folk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Although I will admit that. The ice cream guy does creep me out a little, but we'll get to that. Uh, yeah. And for me, this episode was a lot of fun. I do like the interaction between Marinette and Cat Noir. And I... I how do I put this? Just kiss already? God dang it. I mean, you're there to both go kiss. Oh, wow. Just introduce yourself and the cloak or the mask or whatever it is that you do. And yeah, I like this episode a lot. It's just a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anywho, let's get into the review. If you're interested in watching this episode, pause here and go watch it. Welcome back. I hope you really enjoy this episode. Um, so yes, like with any great show, we start off with a bus chasing scene. Yes, our heroes chase down a rampaging bus through the street of France. It seems that the brake line for the bus has been... Well, it's not working, and Ladybug and Cat Noir are there to save the day with very, very questionable methods of stopping a bus. They're like, physics? What's that? Yeah, true that. It doesn't sound very miraculous. Yeah, but jumping in front of a bus, laying down on the street, that doesn't sound safe, I mean, Ladybug. I mean, that could have killed you. I mean, mm. Well, that's part of the superhero thing. These two are very acrobatic and apparently great spatial awareness. I mean, dang. Yeah, true that, true that. So they decide to tie the bus up and stop it that way. I mean, 
go watch the episode to know what we mean. And yes, it seems that it works. The plan works. Also, we get to see the most hardcore baby. Like, the baby's like, I nearly died. That's so cool. Silver, if you want to see Hardcore Baby Episode 8. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. Again, Norman, you, your your eagerness causes hesitation. <laughs> but then you, uh, once the bus stops, uh, Cat Noir kind of invites Ladybug out for, you know, a quote-unquote romantic friend's dinner or picnic on a rooftop in france wouldn't that be romantic of course uh, who's whose roof you're on that's that's sort of uh that's an issue no, true that no, true no. that's an issue i mean it's like eric cartman doing game of thrones in some other guy's uh garden hey stop plotting my garden <laughs> what did he do that or was it in his backyard i forgot he, he did it in some guy's uh <laughs> he would scheme and politicize and yet it'd be in some guy's uh, garden. It's like, you kids, get out of my garden! <laughs> Stop trying to betray one another! <laughs> I remember that, yeah. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Shut the hell up, dude! No, get out of my garden! <laughs> He's just going to betray you! <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Oh, wow. But, but anywho, um, Ladybug just says, I'll think about it, uh, Cat Noir. I, I have plans with my friends, so yeah. And yeah, we, we get to see what are those plans. And it seems that uh, Marinette is going to head out to have ice cream at this one place with her friends. And said ice cream store is very confusing where he's a roaming ice cream store without a proper place. Uh, people need to kind of find the clues of where his business is. Great marketing, ice cream guy. I got to say, I, I got to call baloney on this marketing strategy. It's like, I am selling ice creams, but you can't find me. <laughs> you need to find the clues. In this era of social media, that's actually pretty hard. You know, oh, hey, here I am. Here's the screenshot I took. No, you ruined my fun. Yeah, give me give me an ice cream. I give you a salty ice cream because I feel it very salty. <laughs> yeah. So, anywho, um, it, it said ice cream store, uh, Andre's legendary ice cream thing. Uh, he has this special trick that he does where every ice cream he makes uh, or every ice cream he gives to a couple, will um, the cup, when the couple eats them, they'll stay in love forever. I think Hayden's wants in on this trick. Hayden's wants in on this trick, but, but then she's like, no, I have to watch my figure. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's a princess. Does she get fat? Uh, I, mm, no. Well, <laughs> she never even got pregnant. <laughs> Not really. We don't. We did not see it. That's the thing. We did not see it. That's right. But this guy, he's just, he's a sweet man. But at the same time, like, dude, you're buying into your own hype a little too much. I am responsible for all the celebrity couples. Oh, you mean they didn't fall in love based on mutual attraction? <laughs> no, it's all based on my ice cream. I own all the couples in this in this city. <laughs> it like, seems, yeah, it's legit, yo. Seems legit. It's like, dude, I, I think you need mental health. <laughs> I think you need another ice cream. Pay up. <laughs> But you put ones for free. That's how they get you. Oh, sure. The first scoop is free, but then, then, oh, they don't know. I put the crack in all of my ice cream. That's why everyone loves it so much. <laughs> That's devious. Oh, but anywho, um, Marinette meets up with everybody, and they found where the ice cream store is. So they go right direct to the store. Except for her, her love interest. Ah, yes. What's it? Adrian. What's Cat Noir's off? Adrian. Mm. Adrian over in Casa de Whitey. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to have dinner with him. So, yeah, he can't go out. So he needs to practice his piano. So, yeah, you know what? Screw that. I'm going to do I'm going to do what every teenager do. It is jump out the window in my skin tight suit and go prepare a lovely romantic dinner with a quote unquote colleague that I may or may not have feelings with or for. Yeah. And here's the thing. He can fly like a helicopter just by spinning his uh, his staff, which, ooh, oh my, that sounds rather Freudian. <laughs> uh, hey, but the minute I saw that, hmm? the minute I saw that, I was like, physics is a lie. <laughs> but more than that, I thought of Star Wars Rebels, where they had the Inquisitors who could glide by having their, their spinny lightsabers held overhead. It's like, it's like an evil Mary Poppins, y'all. 
<laughs> but Silver, didn't Donnie did that in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I remember him doing that. I'm sure in some incarnation he did, but I don't know when or where. Yeah, I mean, if it works in games, it could work in real life. I gotta try that later. <laughs> Norman was never seen again. <laughs> I love doing this. Oh, off ponies are fun. But anywho, oh wow. <clears throat> but anywho, yeah, Cat Noir sets up and he's setting up, he's setting himself up for failure because, yeah, is Ladybug gonna be there? We won't know, we won't know. So, yay, uh, everybody sees the ice cream store and they're hyped because ice cream. I like ice cream. You like ice cream, right, Silva? Oh, yes. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Yeah. And it seems that, yay, every ice cream that makes with couples and whatnot. Yeah, love, 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 love. And talking about creepy, yeah, this guy um, means well, but he's too creepy. <laughs> I know exactly what your true love looks like. Well, what if I already have someone else in my... No, you <laughs> fall in love with this guy. <laughs> the ice cream has a spoken. <laughs> Oh, God's a lactose. Give, uh, give him to me a vision of this person's true love. I, I'm just laughing because uh, you, he's Persian and you're doing an Italian accent in a French... Yeah, I, I'm just... <laughs> I, I'm going to cut off the, the bottom of the sacone because you will fall in love with the one-armed man. <laughs> I'm not even mad. Like, this is just awesome. Yeah, oh, wow. Well. <clears throat> It's like I just want some vanilla. <laughs> oh, you want to you want to be shipped with vanilla ice, do you? <laughs> no. Well, too bad. Now you are. Oh, why did it white out my cheeks? Uh, but anywho, everybody's there. Um, it seems that Antonio is this guy's name. Antonio, right? Uh, I'm gonna go with that. Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, what was it? I'm too busy calling him creepy ice cream guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Andre? Oh, his name's Andre. All right. So Andre remembers all the couples that eat this ice cream from the two friends from Alia and Nico. Yeah, he remembers them. And when he sees a new face, he automatically you know, wants to matchmake. And it seems that um, Marionette's matchmake is an ice cream with what you call this. What was the flavor again? Mint to match his eyes. Uh... I don't know, banana to match his hair. <laughs> something like that. Vanilla because... Uh, something like that. Vanilla because he is so uh, <laughs> blindingly white. I, it's like white out times 11 snow blindness <laughs> for the world. Uh, Look at his home. Look at those walls. Yep, yep. Good gravy. Uh, you cannot allow even a smudge in that place. Yeah, okay, here's the thing. Peach, uh, peach pink like his lips and mint like his eyes. Eat this, my dear, and your love will materialize. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, that's creepy. Romantic, but creepy. It's okay. I, I got the friends in the mafia. They'll bring him here no matter what. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um, Marionette's kind of depressed because Adrian's not there. And yeah, Ice Cream Guy wants Marionette to have his ice cream, but Marionette says no. And somehow Marionette's salty about the whole situation because Adrian's not there and so on. And yeah, it hurts the Ice Cream Guy's feeling. And then the biggest jerk in the show, this random person just sees... A friend dressed like Adrian and just bumps Marionette out of the way. He's just like, oh, hey, you're here. Uh, one side, <laughs> Boom. Uh, and I just like, what's that? Believe it or not, that guy plays a part in a future episode. <laughs> the lookalike yes, or, the look or alike. his friend? Okay, it does look like because the other friend are just like, what the hey? And uh, that was just rude. I mean, you're not going to even say, excuse me? Oh, he knocked over <laughs> my ice cream. I'm going to go break his kneecaps. <laughs> yeah. He's got a bat hidden under that ice cream stand. <laughs> why, why not? So anyway, ice cream guy is depressed. And you know what happens when ice cream guy gets depressed? Hawk moth randomly appears. Oh, I am Hawk moth. Fear my mothiness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And ice cream guy gets akumatized and turns into... Glaciator. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I'm going to let that sink for a minute. Awesome name, right? Glaciator. Actually, it's got me thinking of uh, Killer Instinct. I know, Glacier. Glacius, fight on. Actually, wait, what was it? Uh, there was a there was a video game where it was like Play-Doh Fighters? Clay Fighters. Yeah, Clay Fighters. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Wasn't there an evil snowman in that? Yes, yeah, there was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Play fighter characters. Yeah. 
bad Mr. Frosty. <laughs> yeah. That's what this guy is. He's a bad Mr. Frosty. Well, why are you watching the silver? Where am I watching that? No, there's a wiki. There's a wiki for everything. <laughs> why are you watching that? Did you play uh, Clay Fighters when you were a kid? No, I just have a very unique memory. All righty then. All righty then. So, <laughs> Clay Fighters. So anyway, um, once the Glaciator exists, he starts pelting people with ice creams. And somehow they turn into ice creams. Ooh, the horror. Actually, I think that is, for a kid's, this is aimed at a young audience. And yeah, the threat that the people will start to melt, that's kind of messed up. It's like, oh, I'm going to kill you all and suffer no legal repercussions (laughs) whatsoever. It's a good day. Yes, as long as Ladybug gets her thing. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody will be safe. Yes. Now, meanwhile, I mean, the... I did like seeing how Cat Noir, he's he's heartbroken that Ladybug didn't show up. So he just goes and is like, hey, Marinette, you're randomly standing there. Let me abduct you. I mean, escort you. <laughs> yeah. But still, it's kind of a cute scene, scene there, like the two talking and sharing their feelings because, oh, um, I'm sad because my friend didn't show up. And Cat Noir says, oh, I'm sad because uh, Ladybug didn't show up. Oh, like, oh, sad. Oh, so sad. And, yeah, if if they only knew who is who, and then they would like, oh, you should have come with me to the ice cream store. Everything will be settled. Oh, I hate ice cream. Let's hang out on the roof. That'll be much more fun. Although, let's be honest. If they really were paying attention, hey, you sound just like the boy that didn't that I didn't get to see tonight. You know, you've got hair exactly the same as the, as the girl I was waiting to have <laughs> dinner with. Oh, my God! Yeah, it looks like some kind of coincidence. Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, it, there's there's Clark Kent syndrome, and then there's just how do you function? <laughs> yeah. How do you function in any way, shape, or form? Uh, but 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 like you mentioned before, Cat Noir appears on Marinette's roof and kind of invites Marinette to go to the rooftop where he was holding the candlelight picnic. Yes. Hello, I'm a guy in skin tight leather. With a belt whip, and I want to just take you off this rooftop. Police! Police! <laughs> it's cool, man. He's a hero, and I think she's into it. Uh, well, I'm sure one of the... But who wears the tights in this family? There's the question. Both of them. <laughs> Apparently. Yes. But anywho, um, Marinette gets to see a softer side to Ken Noir, and suddenly, big ice cream monster comes trying to pelt Marinette with ice cream. Oh no, oh no, the horror. Yeah, some people are, are down for that. No, true, true, true. And with that, Cat Noir carries Marinette to her home and tells her to hide. And with that, Marinette changes into Ladybug and helps Cat Noir. Oh yes, claws out, spots on. <laughs> and yeah, it, it would seem that, hey, Ladybug meets Cat Noir. That's going to be fun. Like, Cat Noir is going to be happy. But no, Cat Noir is salty as heck. Like, you stood me up, jerk. Like, I'm not even going to be friends with you. It's like, how dare you not see me outside of our superheroing, even though I have given you no reason to come and meet me offline. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but Marionette says, sorry, um, Ladybug says, I'm sorry, um, but I had plans with my friend and stuff and whatnot. But I got a plan. Let's try and get close to the monster and see what do. And it seems that he doesn't attack couples. So let's use that against him. And yes, um, they do use that against him by holding hands, giving a kiss on the cheek and whatnot. Oh, very, very playful. Much fun. But getting close is not enough because the akumatized item is the ice cream scooper thingy. Ice cream scooper, but he's in the snowman rather than being the snowman. Yep, which is a smart idea. A smart idea, but even then I'm just... Or just like, oh, well, you got the inside scoop. <laughs> oh, great puns. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. But I do like this is this is actually an upgrade for these two. It's like, yeah, let's just pretend to be an item as opposed to last time when when we talked about this show and I tied you up and forced a kiss. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, gosh, Silver, you're going to love future episodes of this show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are sick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anywho, 
uh, Ladybug uses her Deus Ex Machina to find the answer. And yes, answer seems to be a, whatchamacallit, a helmet. Yes. Um, why helmet? Um, okay. So be- it seems... Because you have to wear proper safety while operating a motorcycle. But there's no motorcycle yet. And it seems that she needs a park bench, a turnover bus, a motorcycle, and a lamppost, and some street signs. What? And Cat Noir's belt. And she instantly knows what to do with this boggles my mind. How does she know what to do from these very random uh, hints? It's just like, what? I don't know if I made the Action Man reference uh, last time we reviewed this. I don't think. I, you know what? Go ahead. Even if you did, just go ahead. All right. Let's see. This was what? Very end of the 1990s, early 2000s. There was a CG version of Action Man. A show that keeps trying to reinvent itself but never seems to reach a claim. In this, uh, the lead character had this unique ability to analyze the situation using math. So whenever he was in this impossible situation, the scene would freeze. You'd see this stream of math going through the environment and highlighting objects. Saying what it could do, what you could do, what you couldn't really affect. And then Alex Mann, the action man, would create these fantastic rescues or near-death escapes just by doing these near-impossible feats. And in a way, it's in a very similar vein to uh, to Ladybug. The difference being that it was more a question, what does the math say you can change? You know, what's going to get highlighted in the scene versus what uh, Ladybug just sees exactly what she, what she needs? Just like, man, that sounds handy, but I'm so confused. True, true. But at least in Action Man, well, you know what? I've seen Action Man the cartoon before with the live action end bits. You remember that one? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That one, <laughs> that one was before, and I, I wasn't as... I mostly knew the CG one that got uh, aired on Fox. Oh, you're not talking about the new one that starred Vincent Tong then? There's a Vincent Tong one? No. Yeah, uh, it's the latest version one. I think Action Man Max, something like that. Action Man Max. <laughs> I'm just I'm just misremembering it, but I do remember that there's a newer one and Vincent Tong was the lead. Probably, I don't remember. Good Lord. I, I don't even know what to make of anything anymore. Yeah, but anyway, let's get into uh, red polka dot spandex and black tight spandex. I really <laughs> would prefer we not. <laughs> oh, you have to, man. So, anywho... Um, the heroes set up their plan, and the big ice cream monster comes. Yes. And yeah, it seems that... How do I put this? Uh, her plan is to tie up big giant monster while Marinette blows the ice cream away. What? Yeah, apparently they like lure it in and the bus gets shredded, which, by the way, you're paying for that. No, man. like The bus is going to be fixed after Ladybug does her Ladybug thing. Yeah, I'll sit through. I guess that's how they avoid bills. Yeah. But yeah, the motorcycle spins the propeller fast enough to create a wind tunnel. Just like, <laughs> physics does not work like that! It does not work like that! <laughs> Why are you doing this in physics? Probably works like that in France. And Francais? <laughs> I blow my nose at, at your physics. I fought in your general direction. Oh, uh, yeah. But anywho. you <laughs> you sons of a motherless goat. Now go away or I will taunt you a second time. Oh, but anywho, uh, Marinette destroy, destroys the ice cream scooper thingy and catches the Akuma and heals and whatnot. And yes, the day is saved once again by the Libra crew. And our villain's plans have been mothballed. <laughs> yeah. So it, after saving the day, uh, Ladybug and Cat Noir um, hang out at the roof where they were supposed to have, you know, dinner or whatnot and ladybug just says um cat we can't do this because we need to hide our secret identity and whatnot and yes um it's just for the identity stuff and cat noir kind of understands the situation and gives ladybug a peck uh, a kiss on the cheek and it, somehow that makes ladybug blush what well i mean you get she gets a peck on the cheek yeah human contact oh god i know but why just just hooked up already gosh dang it not gonna happen. Uh, not not until the series ends. Yeah. So anywho, 
wants Adrian's back home. He's kind of happy. Yay! Like he's giddy with joy. Um, let's see. Uh, the cat creature. What was his name? Plague. Yes, Plague. Just asked like, "Hey, um, so Ladybug dumped you and whatnot. So that means, um, obsession over." And Adrian says. Nah, my obsession is getting more. She didn't say no, but we're close friends now. That means I got it in. Yeah, it, it's. I don't know if I agree with the message. Oh, if, uh, it, don't move on. Don't don't take confidence in what you have and and move forward from there. No, <laughs> just keep obsessing. I could have been. I, I could have been wrong on the way I said it, but it's much fun, funny that way. You know, that's the message of the episode. Like, keep, I uh, keep a believing in the magic I love and stalk them until the end of time. <laughs> that works for Cadence. Remember, it's only a crime if you get the card. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, so, anyway, the next day. I am a bad influence on the children. <laughs> yes, you are. So, anyway, we. Uh, Marinette visits the ice cream store again and says that he's and this and says that she's sorry and wants to have ice cream. Uh, has the same flavor and yes, um, all thing goes right. Um, seems that Adrian goes to the ice cream store too, and he has a very interesting flavored ice cream. What was it again? And Andre says, "Ah, yes, your spot on, son." Starts scooping ice cream, strawberry with black chocolate chip, uh, blackberries for her hair, and. Blueberry ice cream, just like the sky blue stare. Yes. So, somehow this guy is kind of spot on with his uh, love prediction thingy, but it's creepy. It's because I sold my soul to the devil for these insight powers. <laughs> you don't do I that. hope you love birds, sir. Continue on as I am burning in the fiery inferno. Hey, a good time, a fragola. <laughs> <laughs> and then with that, oh, episode ends. Oi, oi. Uh, so, final thoughts, Silver. What do you think of this episode? Uh, the demonic <laughs> power of ice cream. It's going to kill us all. It'll be the, the sweetest death apocalypse you've ever seen. Hey! Uh, but it was, a, it was a fun episode. I think I'm getting used to the elements of this show, so it's n not quite as terrifying. Though, it also helps that Tiki was not throwing herself in... in the screen's face and the movement was a little bit more natural. I mean, at the beginning, everyone's moving like really zippy fast, mm. but we're getting better. All right. Well, but, I, but even even so, there's so much that I could just twist wrong in this show. <laughs> I it shows that I'm a terrible person for how I, I malign it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's supposed to be sweet and loving, and here I am doing these offensive. Uh, uh, voices and the stereotypes. And now I just uh, gotta talk about demonic ice cream because why not? The A! Wee! Uh, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh boy. So, anywho, yeah, um, oh, oh well, you done? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I mean, they are French and I should <laughs> talk about those English kniggets. Oh my goodness. But, uh, I'm good for the moment. All right. And as for me, this episode was a lot of fun. I, I do highly enjoy the shipping that's been trying to do. I mean, I so want to see them get hooked up. Like, please, just do it. Oh, do it already. Goodness sake. But overall, the episode was fun and harmless. Uh, we get to see a few interesting and funny scenes here and there. And I do like uh, Salty Cat Noir. Salty Cat Noir is always fun. So he's a he's a black and gray because of all the sprinkled salt. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, Silver, what are we going to do for next week? Well, I believe we are going to return to the realm of ponies as we talk about My Little Pony. We are finally in the season eight, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which means there's things to do, places to go, ponies to see. And thankfully, the ice cream is non non satanic. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, but next week we are going to... Review Season 8, Episode 3. Uh, what was it called again? The Mod Couple. Yes, the Mod Couple. Mod finally gets a boyfriend. Wow! Leaving Pinkie Pie feeling maudlin. Yeah, yeah. And also, um, Limestone being really, really salty. And yet insightful and helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Marble being uniquely assertive. Mm -hmm. uh, but anywho, that will be next week's thing. 
But anywho, if you guys would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, i like to thank Lurker Cat, Starstream, Master of Lag, Amy, Charles, Lucky Knight, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You have been really awesome. And Silver, where can the good people find you? Oh, you can find me all over the place. I'm on Equestria Daily every Wednesday with a comic review. I am on Deviant Art under MLP hyphen silver hyphen quill, basically posting graphics, Pinkie Pie says goodnight comics, and just about any other little insanity that can cook up. And of course on the YouTubes, where I will have a n- new video out soon for What About Discord? Yeah, yeah, can't wait, can't wait. It's going to be exciting. I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. I'll celebrate with ice cream. Yay! I would like it to drench in the blood of my enemies. <laughs> Yay! But anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am the Silver Quill. We'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya! I have a ruined ice cream for you all. May you all t- decorate it with your tears. Aha! How do I even follow up that one? There's no good joke. You can't. I've got you licked with my creamed jokes. <laughs>